Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome. Hello! I've got a deb sticking out of my neck. Welcome to another beautiful day in Tenerife. We are, yeah, it's really, actually, we're a bit late. Yeah, it's, it's 10 o'clock. We. I look white. Wait, Sam. To be fair, most people do again next to me anyway. So I, um, I didn't go for a run again this morning. Naughty me, but I didn't actually wake up until Deb actually woke up because I was kind of tired. I'm gonna so, clean us upstairs, but it's up. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's yeah, quite, it's quite, a, it can be quite noisy, but I'll go, on, I'll go on to that in a minute. But um, yeah, it is Monday, we are chilling out as Deb's dad. Are you, is he there? You can't he's, see. He's, kind he's, of like over, he's, over, he's over there somewhere. Um, so today I'm gonna do, we're gonna start off do the room tour and we're gonna do the hotel tour, and then I'm probably just gonna get to sleep down there because I don't know if you can see two seconds. They are. That's our beds for the day. So we're going to go and just chill there. But aye, it's uh, sun's up already this morning. It was, yesterday it was kind of cloudy, like um, for the first part of the day. But we still got kind of a bit of nice tan on. So I'm not, I'm not going on these beds again today, though, because they're like oh, the plastic beds. The plastic beds. I'll show, I'll, I'll show you them in a minute. There's plastic beds on. Oh, I need a shave. I know. I need a shave. Um, so oh, you know, your, your your whole face is beautiful, my beautiful. Because isn't she beautiful? She's my queen. Someone's yes. got 50 pence in him again. I'm, start, I'm starting early today, guys. I do apologise. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> let's get the room tour done and then we'll do the hotel tour and then we'll just chill out for the day, I reckon. Like, sounds like a good plan. All right, room tour. So we are, when from the outside, it is just a... It's like a road, really. This road comes all the way around because they're all kind of apartment blocks in here. But yeah, this is our apartment for the week. You have... Key card, which I was actually when we first got here, I was trying to give it all of that, and it's not, it's actually just you just place it against it. So, come in, I'm going to quickly close the door because we've got the balcony door open and I don't want everything to climb. So, this is the room we've got. It is a superior apartment because we've got upgraded. Um, big is my birthday, but so I think the only difference with this is it's I think it's a bigger balcony, I think, but the rooms themselves are pretty much the same. But yeah, let's get on and see what the room is like. So when you first come in, you've got a bit of a hallway type of thing. That is your main living area there, bedroom and bathroom. So the first thing we will do is jump into the bathroom. So typical bathroom when you're all day, it's got sink, toilet, bidet, those windows open as well. And shower with shower reel. The shower itself I find a bit weird because instead of kind of being like at the end of the bath, it's in the middle of the bath. So when you're actually in the shower, it just splurges on the shower curtain. So it's kind of like weird with it being in the middle of the bath, rather than because you think it will go that way, it will go down in the bath, but it doesn't, it's kind of weird. But they also, as well, I didn't know this, down the center, put the plugs in when you use them so you can't get spiders and things crawling up out of the bath which looks pretty cool. Um, the non-slip bath mat, we you ask for that at reception should you wish to have one, so it doesn't come with it, but if you do want one, reception, they'll sort you out straight away, not a problem. Um, massive mirror as always. Very powerful hair dryer, so that's pretty cool. So for any any of the girls and boys that need a hair dryer, they got quite a big hair dryer there. So massive mirror in the foyer for you to make sure you're looking beautiful before you go out. Move me sexy sliders on looking great again today. Um come through into the bedroom. Oh, housekeeping must have been in because I just did them quite cleaned them up this morning, but then housekeeping clearly been in. Nice big wardrobes. You do have your safety deposit box in there, which is free. Uh, lights on either side. Hello. Hello to you. When did the cleaners come in? I didn't know. I was just, must have been that. They must have been in there while we were talking when I thought we had a knock. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, cleaners have been in. And <laughs> telly. And then we got just there. I have moved that because that was over there and that was over there. Well, I'll just use off my case. We do have a... Yeah. Don't, but we have a good, we've got a dead there. We've got a balcony out there as well, which I'll go into that in a minute from the living area. But it is huge. It's probably bigger than I think. It's hot. Oh yeah, sorry. In the superior rooms, you get aircon in your bedroom and your lounge. Yeah, and it is all included in the price as well. So lots of folks <laughs> knocking around, just charging the power bank up there. In the living area, 
which I thought was big enough. You've got a massive set here with a bit of a shade laundry at the side there. You have a nice big table. Big TV. I just have to put some of, of my cards on there at the moment for... Mm -hmm. Yep, aircon up there as well, all included. Now also as well, because this is a self-catering apartment, I spin round. You've actually got a kind of taste the size kitchen as well, to be fair, which has got everything you'll need. You've got microwave, kettle, coffee maker, toaster. Fridge is in there as well. And just your general stuff that's under the bottom there and the bin. So massive living room as well, but this is the piece of resistance for me. Because this balcony is huge. So I'm going to come out the balcony from here. And this is all I was over there, from there, all the way around to there. And it also goes back around where you can see a little couple of sun beds there. So, sun beds, and that as well, just been with the bedroom. So, yeah, absolutely huge. And that's grander. So, Massive, I'm just going to go to the end of the balcony here. So if I spin around on the balcony, you can see how big it is. Because you've got table, you've got two sun beds over there with a parasol. And all this huge, you've got a drying rack there for your towels and stuff as well. So yeah, there is two of the room. Which obviously I don't know what the rest of the rooms are like because we... Booked the normal, we couldn't book the normal room because the normal room is just your room. We, but then we had to boot the apartment so um, Deb's dad and Bethany could have separate rooms to sleep. And then, but because they because both, they, they upgraded us to a superior apartment, which I say, I think as far as I'm aware, it's just the exercise of the balcony. But yeah, that's our living room, that's our bedroom, this is our balcony, and that was the room door. So I hope it was to your liking if you're coming down here. They are really nice. What I've found is they are very clean. However, there is a couple of things. They are... They are Dated. Ben? Go. You see, I'd say they are a nice room, but it's they are a little bit dated. Yes. In terms of. There's just a couple of little things that I like. I'll, 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 I'll show you for an example. So, the doors, for example. Old fashioned wood doors. So, like, they are very old fashioned wooden doors. The. Needs a bit of paint. But yeah. That's like, it. the marble, you can see here where there's like stains on the marble and stuff like that. So it is, um, and when you go through into, like you can see where like the wooden paint stuff there, and the doors on the, they are very old fashioned like. Yeah, does it look, looks like Alice in Wonderland. Uh, this is, I don't know. The door, the door handles like Alice in Wonderland. Can't remember last time I saw Alice in Wonderland, so I don't know that reference, but. But yeah, so you can see that um, it is dated, it is a little bit tired, um, but it is, it, it, it's clean. They're in every day to change, to do your bed and to change your towels and that if you want to. Um, but say, nice little paint and it will be absolutely top draw like, but it is, it's probably one of the nicest I've ever stayed in like, in terms of size wise and amenities and how clean it is and stuff. So, yeah, next up. Hotel tour. Right, so as promised, hotel tour. Hotel behind me is the El Duque, which is where we're staying this week. Um, we are kind of in the Duke shopping centre at the moment, which is just outside, which we've shown you on previous vlogs, which is where we came down to before we just have a motion round and we've got the Hypedino on that, which is literally just downstairs. So we're going to go in. We'll start at the bottom, work our way up. You do need to have your room key because you cannot get in or out of the hotel without that the same as for your door you've got to get your door key for your hotel apartment and also for to actually get in the hotel as well so we'll quickly spin around we'll get in and we'll show you what the hotel is like so, so we are in the Duke shopping center and it's weird because the shops are long and along that way and the hotel itself actually starts actually on the top they are actually the apartments to the hotel as well so if you do have one of those balconies you will actually be out looking onto the shops but to get in we can use one of two exits for you go on there you got one now we'll just jump into this one so key on and in you got a choice of either steps or there's a ramp there for you as well the steps thankfully aren't that steep they are quite shallow steps 
the noise you need this morning, the hardjet washing. And the way this works is that it's a bit like apartment blocks. Uh, we've got the main street here up. I'm going to about, just about get run over. <laughs> yeah, the place is that big that they actually drive the linen around in vans. So, where the van is going now, that is kind of the main sort of fair through. Because it looks like it's kind of two hotels. You've got one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. So, you've got like the roads both ways there and along there. And you've got all different kinds of apartments as well. You've got normal apartments, you've got the apartments where you've got the bedroom and the living room and then you've also got the Sabine Rose with the bigger balconies. But when you come in up from the bottom, this is kind of the main bit. So we've just come in from the bottom to the left with the sign there. That is the main pool area, which has also got the bar and the restaurant. And you've got around this area, which is the smaller area, which is where we're at the moment. This is where your reception is as well. So when you get dropped off, you do get dropped off at the top all the way from the top there and you come down here and then into reception here so we'll have a quick jump into reception for you you've also got a couple of charging ports out there for electric vehicles you've got a couple of scooter port ports as well so when you come in you come down the main one you come in and this is your reception so little sitting area to chill out and this is where you will book in when you get here and you get your all inclusive bands and everything you've got a rep station just over there as well and you've also got some more seating over here and then if you come out this way this is the small pool area where we are and i'll come into that in a bit when you've got your rep station up here i won't go over there at the moment because i've got somebody in but where the two we rep is sitting over there that's where your jet to and everything is as well and that's where you'll get your home times they are posted there 72 hours for your duty to go home so when you are getting ready to go you'll come back to reception check out your your rep and you'll check out and see when times you're getting picked up from you get picked up from the top again because they can't get down the box there's just too much hassle with the shopping center there and then just on the the outside of the reception is this gives you your times of when stuff is on on the day what times it is what is on in terms of activities and then on the bottom it's got what entertainment you have on for the night as well so i'm going to come at the reception i'm going to turn left and we're going to go up to the small area, which is a bit where we are. Uh, it is definitely the quieter of the two pools from what I've seen so far. We will go to the big pool at some point this week and we'll have a look, see how noisy it is over there compared to the two of them. But this is the small one. Which they were saying yesterday, there is a lifeguard on both of them over there. And that is our apartment up there. These extra cabanas up here, they're quite nice as well, apart from they are kind of like a leather type thing, which can be a little bit sticky on the legs. So yeah, if you want to go up there, what do you want to put a, you want to put a towel on as well around there? Oh, look what I've just found. Hey, my beautiful. Yeah, she just lays them whilst I'm around doing this that one. So yeah, this is the small area. And we'll cut, we'll quickly go across to the big pool. We'll show you where the restaurant and the bar and everything is as well. This is just the outside bit I've just shown you there. So that doorway there leads you back into reception. So let's get ourselves around here and go into the big pool area. There we say back through the reception that way. Two reps just gone there. So we'll just come back out the beginning and we're back off to where the El Duque sign is. So what we'll do is instead of going that way, which takes you directly to the restaurant, we'll have a moot up this way and then we'll go into the top end of the pool area. They do have the fountains on on here. Um, apparently they come on at around about 11 or so so i'll insert some footage of the fountains on round about now yeah they've got quite nice fountains <laughs> yesterday morning when we were walking past here the pigeons were getting a uh, shower and just get themselves a little bit prone in there and that so that was quite cool as well washing, washing all the pigeons get washed so yeah this is the this is the main pool area around here around that way we are literally our apartment that's the that's, and that's the top we are literally there and that's our this is our apartment block here and then got some sun lounges here there is a kids a kids play park as well so the pool is open from 10 till 6 
and no lilos in this one, no beach balls, no food, and no glass. And you must get a shower before you come in. If there's kids in there, they have to be with an adult, can't be like leaving the kids unsupervised. Went down to the pool that way. It's a mini club in there with the kids area and what the best of that. I'll go down, I'll go down the walkway <laughs> rather than disturbing people at the pool. On a night when you come down here after six, it's all cable tied off, as you can see with the little bungee ropes there. They literally put the the cordon off all of the pool and all down here. And this turn this because this is the kind of bar area on night as well where the main entertainment is on. So when you come down here, this is your main entertainment area for the evening. As you can see the tables and the chairs are all bunched up on the side at the moment, so at the, at the moment that's what you've got. All this area is for sunbathing and stuff, and then on a night that gets cordoned off. Bring all the tables and chairs out here, and this is the extra bit for to get round. You got the the bar as well. So this is where you got all your drinks. What I do find quite fun about this as well, the entertainment is actually outside. So the entertainment area is there. This is where they this is where they were all dancing all last night. That is the restaurant in there. That's for staff entrance only. You do have toilets just next to the bar as well. So when you are out on a night and you're enjoying your evening, if you do need to quickly nip to the loo. They ain't that far away. There is only actually one toilet for male and female though. So it is a bit like it's you're in go in the queue. Because there's only it's, it's a queue because it's not your hand, so that's literally oh and lock the door. And there's one there. Tonight's entertainment is Flamenco Passion. Yeah, you've got the mini club as well. And you've got bingo afterwards as well. So yeah, tonight is entertainment is the flamenco passion. The only pro the other problem as well. That's not a problem. A mini disco. You've heard the mini score once, you've heard it a million times. It is the Tichiva, Tichiva, and the, 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 the all that, all the ones that you've seen in all the other all the other vlogs, they are all the same. So you've got the bar area here, me and pool, and this is the restaurant as well. Restaurant is closed at the moment, obviously it's between um, lunch and dinner. So I'll pop in on lunch and show but I don't really want to do it when there's too many people in and we found that the lunchtime is the quietest time at the moment. But to get into the restaurant, you gotta come down the side. And you get in the restaurant and you get in the restaurant from this way. So from the side of the restaurant here, you've kind of got that's where we came in. We walk up there, you come along down the beach, down the pool area, you've got the bar and the entertainment and the restaurant. And we'll quickly nick down to show you where the front of the restaurant is. Yeah, so the restaurant itself at the moment. The doors are actually still open. Because we did the cleaning. And we get in. So this way. So here. So that's the restaurant at the moment. As I said, it is closed and you are cleaning. So I won't come into the restaurant at the moment until they are actually finished on there. So, like I said, we'll just we'll come back when it is time for to go for lunch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go see if I can get upstairs and see if I can get a view from a bit further down for you. So you can see like a, an, an overview plan of it. But yeah, if you are, um, if you have got any boys that's got any mobility issues and that, um, try and de definitely request a lower floor because there is quite a lot of steps around here. So, yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna see what view I can get from up here if it'll let me. Yes, yeah, so there's a view from up the top of the stairs. So what I do like is pretty much all, everything around here, they've got solar panels on all of the roofs as well to help obviously get solar. If you didn't have solar panels down here, it would be a bit stupid like with the amount of sun they get obviously. So yeah, this is the overview of the big pool with the entertainment area pool apartment but behind that apartment block there is the other pool and beneath us is the restaurant so yeah nice little view of the hotel and there's not much of an elevator view from this one but that's the elevator view from the top the toilets for this pool are literally just there so if you do need to come out i'm like i'm standing kind of on top of reception at the moment so you got again a little mini bar for us pool Deb actually in the pool there at the moment with Bethany. That's it. So there you go. Room tour done. Hotel tour done. 
apart from if I can get into the restaurant a little bit later on, if there's not too many people around while they're having lunch, I'll um, I'll see what I'll see if I can show you what the restaurant is like inside as well. But apart from that, that is me um, done for now. I am now going to chill out and lie in the sun because that's what we've got to contend with today. Nothing but sunshine, and I'm going to fry. Look at that. I'm out work. I'm out working on here. And they're just in the pool, just chilling out and enjoying themselves. Now, how disgraceful is that? So there's only one thing to do now, and that's join them. Beautiful this woman in the world. I haven't done that for a yeah. In my eyes, you are forever. <coughs> right, uh, food time? Scram. Scram. Salad. Scram time. Bethany and uh, Dev have already been for dinner. I will turn now. And then Bethany needs to go and chill out in. I think she's got to touch her sunstroke. Touch her sunstroke. She needs to get her out, out of this one. Like, she's still drinking quite lots of fluids now, but she's, uh, she's a bit knackered. Like. Back one, hello. Who we have now, huh? Yeah. That's that's the noisy <laughs> that's the noisy neighbours again. <laughs> so we're just off down to get some get some food. Um, if it's not too busy, I will um, show you around the restaurant. If it is, I'll wait later on. But uh, as far as hungry goes, like quite hungry, like so. See you in a bit. Right, a quick one around the restaurant while there's not many people in. So when you come in, it is quite easy enough to navigate. You've got, on the morning, you've got your coffee and your juices and that there. You've also got your popping things over the far side there, just for your dispense. The restaurant itself is quite big, um, but it's quite easy to navigate. It's basically, you come in and it's on that side and it goes all the way around there. And you've basically got, when you come through, you've got your outdoor seating that way. And as you come through, you basically, this, this part of it here is closed off to, and I'm assuming because it's late one of the year, so there's not that many people in, so they want to keep everybody eating together. But it basically just goes, oh, it's all beer, Marie. And it kind of goes. Don't want to stay around too long while people are eating, so I'm just giving you a quick, guys, a quick. Look around and it goes all the way around to pizzas, then salad. Fruit that all your fruit and then your cakes. And that's about it really. Um, and you've got ice cream at the end. So they're good to do quick one. I said I don't I didn't think want to do too much while. Um, people are in eating because um, I don't disturb people's lunches, but yeah, you basically go in up the top all the way around in kind of a semi circle until you finish and then come down and get your food. It's as simple as that. Oh, yeah, it is quite big, it is really airy as well, so it is nice and relaxing. And <laughs> it's nice and relaxing, nice and just chill out for you. Um, if we can't get outside, that's even better, but if you can't sitting down here the massive beer doors are open anyway so it's still going to be nice and cool and heavy so a little bit of move around the restaurant for you as well bless <laughs> oh bless them so we we've just come back from getting some to eat and we've come back in the room just to sort ourselves out before we go down and go back in the pool and that and i got a bottle of champagne here well, Champagne, shampoo. Champagne, carbon brut. So, yeah, oh, that, that, well, I'm assuming that it's from the hotel. Because, like, it was right in, it was up here, and there's been anybody else in, it was in front of all my birthday cards and that, so. Yeah, she'll go and tell them that we're going to drink. And, yeah, now, <laughs> now, now we'll tell them that we Lovely really compliment. Them. But, yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, a bottle of champagne for us when we get. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we're not going to actually drink, we're not going to actually drink the champagne. We're just going to actually use it as a as a coolant. But yeah, um, nice little touch. I thought that. So yeah, don't know where it's going to go. But <coughs> thank, thank you very much for that. And now it's time to go. Now play the pool 
and some fry for however many hours we are gonna go down there probably. Yep. Well thank you very much for that hotel. Thanks. So we've just come up from the pool because it's get hot down there. So we'll come to the balcony. The only thing is with the balcony, there's a reason why these are the superior ones. Because there's your seats. And you're just back in the sun again. Any difference is there's no pool. But you can just sit up here for ever. So if you didn't like people and you put you want to get a suntan rather than being down there at the at the pool side, just come up here. It's great. But for now that's it for Tan and Fummy and Deputy, I think. We are we're just gonna go for a mooch, but we're gonna go for a mooch off camera. We're just gonna go down to the beach just for a little bit of a chill. Just as a couple of cups, we want to be together. Yeah. Right. Uh, don't think I've worn them a bit, have Enjoy. <laughs> so, we're going for a walk off camera. We've got to show you this bit here. So, this here is the hotel you remember off in February, the Playa Real. And if I just zoom back out, and then if I literally just turn here, that's our hotel. Right there. So, February's hotel. September's hotel. That's over the back there. That's over the back there. Right, it's now time to go for dinner. It is. Also been for a walk, and it was kind of warm. Get some fluff for my neck. Get some fluff for my neck. Um, at half past six, the temperature gauge down on the shore said 30 degrees. So I different now. It was a tad bit warm. Different now what it's been like during the day. So we've got the colour test in here, and then by the waters of modern technology, the next colour test is going to be <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> Colour test day two. Look at that. Yeah. Keep, keep brown in that. Two days in. I've got a white bum, white boobs. And uh, I've got, yeah. Right. Uh, I've got white bits where me wedding ring is, and that's about, yeah. Right. Anyway, it's time to go and have some food. We're going to, because we're late, because they're hungry two doors down. So we're going to get some food and we're going to go and see what it is. We've got some flamenco -y things on the night. So get some flamenco. -y. I don't know why I was going to sing the Blue Oyster song.
Two, two, one. Dos, gone. Dos. Dos. But there's still another four full days to yeah. go yet, so I'm not even scared. No. 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 God, that was that was one day though. That was really hot yeah. now. So they just started one day, guys, uh, next to Thanks to Bethany, you've seen it's like 30, 30 plus today. I've seen we were down there at the um down the beach oh, bit it was um 30 degrees and that was that last six tonight, so yeah, it's been a canny warm one. Mm. But it was on the floor, you coming on, mm. didn't you get some nice sunshine? Right? I've never been thought thankful for a swimming so, pool in my life. I just nice to be able to have a bit of a And it's not salt water. Nice little bit of a dip in the pool. <laughs> and then tonight we saw some flamenco. <laughs> But once you've seen one of them going like that, it's kind of like Olé. it all went into one, but it was not. Mm. Wow, you're hot. Yeah. And I don't just mean hot, hot. I'm done. But she is absolutely hot to the touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I did it. How was it? We got this morning. We went, what did we do? What did we do today? We went for a walk down the beach earlier on. I went for a walk down the beach earlier on. Pop up. So we just got to add some Brittany. Chilled out for a bit. Oh, we did a room tour. That's what we did. did a room in the hotel mm -hmm. tour. So we did a room in the hotel tour today. We went for a little bit of a walk down the beach just off camera. Uh, we did do a little bit of um, just through the scenery. <laughs> and then I came up to get uh, the, the the bits you've just seen of the hotel um, at night. I came up to get the charger for my phone and disappeared. And <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of Texas, I'm going, are you dead? Dead, dead in the middle of Texas, yeah, why not? I forgot to say that when I got recharged, I was going to come and take some photograph and yeah. some video of the photo at night. So yeah, I went missing and Deb didn't know where I was. And then we just went and watched the So I got and... stuck with the... And then 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 the... And not the friends and one though. But no, but they've done mm, mm, the dances mm, that you get. Mm, it's, it's all the same CD. I think we've seen that before. When it's just when it's the kids mini club yeah. thing, it's all the same songs on. So, but that's it for today. We are. I'm going to bed because I've we've just been over the, the aircon on. Yeah, we've just, <laughs> just been over at Ted's dad's balcony, and I was asleep on the sun out of, and then I woke up to come back to the hotel room to do this to and I got to bed. So I'm going to bed. Cause I'm kind of tired, right? Mm -hmm. So, cause it's hard work, you know, just being out there in the sunshine all day, just doing that. Terrible. Honestly, it's hard work. It's just disgraceful. But we've got dates, so I might as well do it. Uh, sure, I think we should do this at one, no? Oh, go on. Right, and you can tell I'm tired, so I'm just waffling. <laughs> so, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So we can just continue doing. I only doing it once, like ha 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 ha. Share. Okay, do it again. <laughs> Please remember to like, subscribe and share. And until tomorrow, when there's more of the same going in the... Oh, we might have a bit of crazy golf because I saw the crazy golf down there. So we might have a game of crazy golf at some point. But that might be tomorrow. It might be the next day. I don't know. Never know yet. So, right. Thanks for watching. Until tomorrow. Bye. Bye.